How easy it would be to fall for you But that of course is something I won't do Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So a little bit of a change of scenery because I am currently in London and I'm so excited to be here. You can see a little bit of the city out of my windows. Let me show you. There's a little bit of London. So I flew through the night with my local time and arrived this morning at around 10 a.m. London time. By the time I got to my hotel, it was a little bit later and then I just decided to change clothes and it's now almost 2 p.m. So what I'm going to do this afternoon is go to the Victoria and Albert Museum. And this is a museum that I've been to once in the past, but I've always really wanted to check out the fashion galleries at this museum. And when I went in high school, those were closed for renovation. So that's what I'm going to go look at today. And hopefully that will be pretty low key so that I can just come back and get some sleep a little bit later. My sister is joining me tomorrow and we're just so excited to explore and I think you guys will really enjoy seeing some of the different activities that we're doing. And of course, I packed a lot of my handmade clothes to show you guys as well, so I'm so excited. So I'm going to grab my coat and get headed out to the museum. Good morning friends so it is day two here in London and I'm feeling much more rested after a full night's sleep I came back to the hotel last night after going to the V&A and also just doing a really nice walk around Buckingham Palace with the coffee I watched the sunset over there it was so lovely um, but I was definitely quite tired so it was good to get some sleep but I've just gotten ready because I'm about to meet my sister downstairs in the lobby she's on her way from the airport right now so I'm so excited for us to get to hang out today one thing that is on our agenda today is to go to Rain house which if you've watched Bridgerton that's one of the main filming locations from Bridgerton and it's a beautiful historic house so we're both really excited to see that and a few other things on the agenda as well which I'll take you along for as we go I had so much fun at the V&A yesterday just seeing the beautiful historic clothing as well as the textiles that they have in that museum definitely very inspiring for me looking at all of the details on the historic clothing now speaking of clothing I had really hoped that on this trip I would get to wear a lot of my floral spring dresses 
but I don't know if you guys can see outside. It's pretty gloomy and pretty chilly today. So I've gone for this lace blouse I got from Thread Up a while ago, as well as just a pair of jeans and I'm going to add a jacket and my pink beret for a little bit of personality, I guess. Um, but hopefully if the weather warms up a little bit in the next couple of days, I can wear some of my dresses, which I'm really excited for. But yeah, I'm going to go meet my sister now and I'll take you along for all our adventures today. Okay. I'm trying to find a good place in this hotel room where I can show you guys my outfits because the mirror is like right in the little hallway between the walls. There's not enough space there. So might be just stepping back here. I've got this little pink beret on from Nordstrom. And then my white lace blouse is from Thread Up. We love something thrifted. And then these jeans are made well. These are their like bell bottom style, which I love wearing right now. My shoes are these little belly flats from Margot, which are so, so comfy. And then this jacket is a J. Crew trench coat that I got on Poshmark. I've got my little vintage coach bag. And then all of my jewelry is Anna Luisa, very kindly gifted by them. I've got these two sets of pearl earrings, this little necklace that's kind of like a mother of pearl. Let's see if you can see. So pretty. And then also this little pearl bracelet. So yeah, I am ready to head out. Okay, Felicity is here. Hello. We're about to go get some breakfast. How was your flight? It was good. Pretty smooth. Very nice. Yeah. So um, I'm super excited. I think I've told you guys if you're following me on Instagram, but I'm going to be an aunt soon because Miss Felicity is expecting a baby. So let's see the baby bump. Boop, boop, boom. So cute. A little hard to see with the pants on, but that's okay. <laughs> So gorgeous. So we are off to get some breakfast and we will catch up with you soon. Okay, so we have just climbed up a very steep hill. We have. <laughs> and so we're both probably pretty out of breath. But we are walking to the Ranger's house, which is a filming location. Excuse the delivery truck. We are walking to Ranger's house, which is a filming location from Bridgerton. And Felicity did all the research on this. What do you know about it? So it's an art museum, which is all that I remember at the moment. It looks pretty small. They rent it out for events and movie filming. It looks like a good amount. But it's the house in Bridgerton, like the main Bridgerton house. So we're excited to go yes. see the outside, but the inside sounds cool too. Yeah, so we have about like a 15 minute walk to go. So 14 minutes. Oh, now. okay. Yay. So we're <laughs> almost there. So close. Yay. to the ranger's house and we just went through the museum on the inside they don't allow any photography on the inside so we couldn't show you there but it is so beautiful felicity was just telling me because she knows all of the information that when they're filming here they cover the outside in wisteria so that's what you would see on the show but right now it's just just the house, the house. but it's beautiful so we really enjoyed the museum um, just kind of a random collection of art, I yeah. guess, that belonged to the family that owned this house. Is that right? I think so. I think okay. they collected it. Yeah. They're rich. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we're going to walk around over here just a little bit. And yeah, it was very nice. Yeah. They were really friendly. Yeah. Very, very nice. helpful and informative people yes. working here as well. So that was really nice. Yes. How are your feet? Oh. I don't know what, it's not like blister painful, it's like the bones are creaky. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll sit down soon. <laughs> Okay, 
back at the hotel and we have a tea reservation for this afternoon so I have changed my outfit. It is definitely too cold for this dress but I'm going to put my trench coat over this and just hope for the best because we're pretty close to the place we're having tea. But I have on this dress from Hill House which is one of my favorites for the spring this year and I also have the matching headband and I just kept my same jewelry on. Let me put the camera down so I can show you the full dress. Okay, I'm not sure if you can actually see this, but here is what this dress looks like. I think it is so cute for the spring. I love the length of it and it has pockets and then it has this really pretty detail on the waistline that's just really nice and fitted with um, covered buttons and then these two bow ties, which I think are so cute. So we are getting ready to head out for our tea. <laughs> Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are pulling like the tide Hey friends, so it is the next day now and we are in Notting Hill. It is Woo! so beautiful in this neighborhood. Um, yesterday we had the afternoon tea and then we just went back to the hotel and went to sleep pretty soon because the jet lag was definitely hitting. Um, but today Felicity had a photo shoot booked. We met up with a couple of friends that were here as well and then she took photos for them, which was lovely. It was super fun. And I carried her bag. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big um, help. And she's actually about to meet up with them again. We just had lunch and then I'm going to do a little bit of shopping in the interim um, and then maybe get her to take a few photos for me, maybe. Yeah. So, but this neighborhood is so beautiful. This is my first time in Notting Hill and it's so pretty. I love the movie, so I keep thinking of that, but it's a beautiful area. It look, yeah, it's gorgeous. Great place for photos. Yeah, so we're just gonna walk around a little bit. There's a really pretty church over here and we'll catch up with you soon. Then. Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are pulling Like the turning of the tide And the match that drew the spark Was a single stolen kiss And if that ain't love Good morning friends, so it is around 6.30 in the morning the next day and we are getting ready to take the train to Bath today and I am so excited. This is one of those places that I've always seen in movies, especially in like Jane Austen movies, so I'm really excited to see it for myself. How are you, you feeling, Felicity? Feeling excited! <laughs> yeah! Yay! So I have on this vintage Laura Ashley dress that I made a couple of years ago. I felt like this was the perfect thing for our activities for today, though I am going to put a jacket on over this at least for the train um but i'm excited to take some pictures of this dress in the jane austen-esque setting of bath so i think we're about ready we're gonna go get some coffees and then head that way So we've made it to Bath Yay! and Felicity found this really cool Bridgerton walking tour guide online. So we're going through and looking at a lot of the filming locations. And this deli right here is actually the modiste in Bridgerton. So that's kind of cool to see. We're gonna come back here in a little bit and go shopping inside because it looks like they have some fun teas and souvenirs and things. So they're Bridgerton themed. Yeah, all Bridgerton themed. So we're gonna keep going, walking around and finding locations, but we'll definitely oh, come back here. The oh. door next to it as well. Is also a location? Yes, they film at the door. <laughs> yeah, so both of these. <laughs> so cool to see. Yes.
we are now at the Royal Crescent, I believe is what this is called. And it's so cool. I've seen this both in Bridgerton and I think also in a few versions of Jane Austen's Persuasion. So it's very cool to see in person. I'm sorry if the audio is bad because I've now switched to my phone because our camera has betrayed us today um, with the battery. But hopefully you can still hear pretty well. What do you think of the Crescent? It looks really pretty, yeah. Such and a cool building, it's very impressive. We're also finding the Feather Engine House. To match oh, yeah. the Bridgerton House, which we already found. So, so that's the other end. It's that way. <laughs> friends so it is the next day now and I don't quite remember where we left off yesterday um, but we had so much fun in Bath it was so cool to see that city and it was just so relaxed and really nice and it was a nice little escape from how busy it is here in London so I really enjoyed it and I've always been a big Jane Austen fan so it was so fun to see the Jane Austen Center and we had afternoon tea there which was really nice um, so I really enjoyed it. Felicity what was your favorite part of Bath? That's an excellent question, Lauren. The afternoon tea was impeccable, so I probably <laughs> enjoyed that. One of the most interesting, all the houses. Oh, also we had brunch, and that was so delicious too. Ah, yeah, so all the food. Yes. And then I think I mentioned this before, but Felicity had found an article online that was like a walking tour of Bridgerton locations or filming locations. So we went to look at all of those. And a lot of those are also in um, different adaptions of Persuasion by Jane Austen. So it was really cool. So I'll be sure to link to that list. You have that, right? I do. I'll link to that list down below in case any of you guys are going to Bath anytime soon. It was really fun to see all of that. But the plan for this morning, uh, we are about to go to a coffee shop and just get a coffee to start the day. And then I'm going to go to the Kew Gardens and um, I'm really excited about that. That's something I've wanted to see for a while. So I'm looking forward to just walking around. It should be a little bit warmer today, but I'm definitely wearing a sweater with this. And um, the weather was really nice yesterday as well. Was, the sun came out in Bath, so it was really pretty. It really was. Yeah. yeah. And then what are you doing this morning? Today I'm going to the British Museum to see what they have. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Might eat lunch there as well. We'll okay. see. So then I need to find lunch if we're not eating lunch at the same place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then we'll meet back up a little bit later and kind of make a plan from there. This is my last day here, so I want to make sure I use the time. And a lot of you have been telling me on Instagram that I need to go to Liberty and go fabric shopping. So I might try and squeeze that in at some point this afternoon. Um, but yeah, we're going to get going and we'll catch up with you soon. Bye. <laughs> to the botanical gardens and it is so beautiful and expansive and peaceful here they have bluebells blooming right now and it smells so good so I'm just really enjoying myself the weather is perfect you can see I don't even need my sweater now this top I made pretty recently um, so it should be the most recent video on my channel right now and it was very easy just four rectangles and you don't need a pattern but I added this cute little lace trim which I absolutely love so anyway I am just going to keep wandering around my next stop is Queen Charlotte's Cottage so I'm going to go try and find that but I'm taking a little break to enjoy the beautiful scenery on this bench I brought a book with me so I might read just a little bit because it is so nice outside but I didn't really come all the way to London just to read a book so um, I might do that for a little while and then wander around some more but I'll catch up with you soon <laughs>
so I am back from the gardens and I'm here with Felicity. Felicity, what did you do this morning? This morning or an afternoon. Yeah, an afternoon. afternoon. Yeah, I was like, what time is it? Went to the British Museum and got to see some fun artifacts and stuff there. So that was really good. Just got back nice, a few minutes nice. ago. Yeah, and so now we are gonna go uh, get a little snack and then take some pictures. I have changed my outfit and I have on my skirt for my pattern that's coming out soon. So I wanted to get some photos of it while we were here that Felicity has very kindly agreed to take. And then Felicity has the cutest dress on. Show them like the fabric. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go take some maternity pictures because I think this is gonna be so pretty. And it's got puppy sleeves, which you'll see in a little bit. So it's very pretty. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get a snack and we will see you shortly. How easy it would be to fall for you. But that, of course, is something I won't do. Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing more than friends How silly it would be to put this friendship to an end crazy that I am So I am back home now and I've actually been back home for quite a while, but I've been working on editing together all of the clips from the England trip and it was just such a fun trip. I'm really enjoying getting to look back on it right now as I edit the video and I just made a cup of tea with my little tea for one set that I got from the Jane Austen Center and I've just been loving this. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. I am such a sucker for any type of blue and white china. But thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing some different clips of mine and Felicity's trip. We had such a good time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in a new sewing video very, very soon. Bye! How stupid I would be to still have faith To never stop Believe in that one day